Hi, I'm Gary with Golden Lotus Studio. And my tip for you today is about knowing when to stop. We could work on a song forever. There could be little details that we want to make better and we want to make better and we want to make better. And we think, ah, oh, it's never going to be as great as it could be. Or we're perfectionist and we want to get exactly the perfect guitar take on the recording before we share it. And we might get a little overly obsessive about this. The same is true with the writing, same is true with the recording. So how do you know when a song is done or how do you finish a song? Well, I'm gonna give you a, a one quick idea if you wanna do this exercise. Grab your pen and notebook, set the timer for five minutes and do a free write, do a spontaneous write in response to the question, how will I know when this song is finished? And let your intuition answer as though it really is the authority on this subject. There's a possible magic in doing this exercise because you'll learn some things that you didn't think you could know. If you have magical things happen to you, post them in the comments below. I'd love to know how it goes. Another thought though is I want to remind you, I'm sure you've heard the story of the kindergarten teacher. Her students were producing incredible work and the principal came by and said, what are you teaching to your kindergarten students? They're making incredible artwork I'm seeing posted up in the hallway. What's your secret? Are you teaching them art history? Are you giving them certain techniques? What are you doing? And the teacher says, no, I just know when to take it away from them. And knowing that moment, when to take the song away from yourself before you you either make it worse or you don't ever finish it or release it is an art. You know, this is part of why we do uh, things like the four day songwriting challenge so that there is a cutoff date. We'll call it done for now and you can live with it for a while, but work on it, work on it, work on it up to a deadline, then take it away from yourself for a little bit live with it. And then if there are details that you think you might still want to work on, sit down with the song again and ask yourself the question, can I live with the things that I'm not quite 100% in love with? Can I live with them? Can I love them? And if the answer is no, I'm not quite sure that I can love them yet, then work on it some more. But take a short sprint, try some other ideas in those spots, set them aside, leave it alone for a while. I can tell you a story. For me, one of my songs, The Young Men, there was one line in there that I really wasn't in love with and I tried probably 50 different versions for that line. Some of them I even sang live at shows and I'll be damned if the original line that I wrote at the very beginning that felt too obvious to me, that's the one that really resonated with people, that really resonated with me. That was the one I ultimately came back to to start. But I feel good about it now because I did my due diligence. I came up with 50 other possible lines for that. And lo and behold, that's the that's the line that really wanted to be in that song. So I encourage you, we don't have to be such perfectionists about it, right? We can hold it a little more loosely, not quite so tightly, not too tight, not too loose. Hold this little song in your hand. Let's see if it just flies. If you call it done for now, there's always an opportunity to work on it later. Put a fork in it, call it done, let it fly for a while and see how you feel about it after you've made that decision. I guarantee you just making that decision can be transformative. That's my tip for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll check out all the offerings we have for songwriting, support, learning, picking apart, challenging, growing, fun, games, classes, workshops, all the things we have to offer at goldenlotusstudio.com.